<laughs> I mean, it's incredible, son. How did you manage to make a basketball look that good? I mean, the, they got the texture, the lighting, the colours. Oh, it's just magnificent. It's an orange, Dad. I still can't get my head wrapped around this whole grief thing, but one thing that I do know is that it is far from simple. Hi. Yeah, don't worry about waiting for me. Uh, something's come up at home. Yeah, ne next time, definitely. Bye. Wardrobe. Go, Sam. Come on, come on. Grab it. Sam, where is it? It's in your wardrobe days. Sam, go long, Sammy. Go long. <laughs> Where's my red hoodie? It's in your bloody wardrobe. First dance.
It's funny how grief can make you remember these little stories, memories that held so much significance to your life at the time. But as you grow up and life takes its course, you just you forget that they ever happened. And now I, I cherish those memories a lot more. Toby, what are you doing? Come play. I look around at family, and friends, friends of friends, acquaintances, neighbours, <laughs> the cat down the road, and we're all dealing with it differently. None of us really know what the hell we're doing, but I, I guess that don't matter. Grief is this strange set of feelings and emotions that are thrown at us, and all we can do is try our best to catch them. We're going to carry them around for the rest of our life, yeah, but I've learned that with a little bit of practice, they become lighter over time. Sure, they may become harder to hold during special occasions, but I don't worry about that. I plan on holding on to those memories that are left with me and being grateful that I get to keep them forever. <laughs>